During the summer of 2013, I got a service call about some supply registers forming condensation on them. It kind of caught me off guard because the Sacramento Valley's summertime conditions don't usually allow for sweating ducks and registers. In this blog, let's go over some of the facts, opinions, diagnoses, and solutions to sweating ducks and registers. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. A quick explanation of what causes sweat or condensation on ducts and registers. It all comes down to the dew point of the air surrounding the surface forming condensation on it. Here's some facts. Air is a gas, and that air needs to be cooled to a certain point to achieve 100% humidity. At 100% humidity, air cannot hold more moisture in the gas form, so it becomes liquid, condensation. Now, what is the temperature of the air in that room, supply duct, or the ceiling register that 100% humidity occurs? That's the dew point. The National Weather Service says the higher the dew point rises, the greater the amount of moisture in the air, and that directly affects how comfortable it'll feel. Many times, relative humidity can be misleading. For example, a temperature of 30 degrees Fahrenheit and a dew point of 30 degrees Fahrenheit will give you a relative humidity of 100%. Still, a temperature of 80 degrees and a dew point of 60 produces a relative humidity of 50%. It would feel much more humid on the 80 degree day with 50% relative humidity than on the 30 degree day with 100% relative humidity. That's because of the higher dew point. We are more comfortable during the summer when the dew point is 55 degrees and less. At 55 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit, the air in your house starts to feel sticky or muggy, and a dew point above 65 degrees becomes downright oppressive. The higher the dew point, the less comfortable the conditions are. So now we can talk about your sweaty ducts and registers. The house cools down when the air conditioning has been on for a while, but the duct that the air travels through gets cold, the metal register that the air comes out of gets cold too, and there's even a metal box, sometimes called a boot or a C box or B box, or just a can that connects the air duct to the metal register that the air comes out of in your room. Water vapor loves cold metal and other surfaces because the dew point of the surrounding air allows condensation to develop on them, like a cold glass of water does. And the longer the air conditioner pushes cold air out of the ducts in an environment where the surrounding dew point is higher, the more sweat will form on the surface of it. And just to add to the nuisance of condensation, water on those cold surfaces can start to grow mold and bacteria. It can also cause the paint on the metal registers to rust and chip. And if this is going on inside your ducts in the attic or the basement, you may not even be able to recognize it because you can't see inside of them without tearing into the duct or running a camera scope inside of them. A lot of contractors will suggest adding more insulation to the attic, or they'll say that getting ducts with thicker insulation will solve the problem. I'm not saying that this won't solve the problem in your house. Every situation is different. But you could add several feet of insulation, and if the outer lining of the duct is cooler than the air surrounding it, and it reaches the dew point, condensation is still going to form on the duct. So adding insulation isn't always the solution. I was reading an article, uh, Allison Bales at Energy Vanguard Wrote, a, wrote this article and he said that, <clears throat> how do you tell which is the culprit? Is the dew point too high or is the supply vent too cold? The special number here is 55 degrees. Well, it's special if you keep your house at 75 degrees for the indoor temperature and have around 50% relative humidity. Those conditions correspond to a dew point of 55 degrees, our special number. The higher the relative humidity surrounding your problem surface, the duct or the register, the higher the dew point is at a given temperature. That means you're most likely to get condensation because the supply vent doesn't even have to be as cold. For example, at a temperature of 75 degrees and relative humidity of 60%, the dew point will be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 
A supply vent at a temperature of 60 degrees or below will sweat in that case. There's a dew point calculator website that I was messing around with on this uh, article. It lets you play around with the temperatures and humidity levels to determine the dew point. Like with my house, it's usually set to around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And because the humidity level in my Sacramento house is usually around the 40% area, my registers won't start forming water until the temperature of the metal registers goes below 44 degrees, the dew point. So what are some of the solutions? The obvious solution to this is buying a ventilating dehumidifier. Whether the AC is operating or not, running a dehumidifier is great for when the AC cools the house fine, but it doesn't reduce the humidity enough. Energy recovery ventilators, ERVs, heat recovery ventilators, HRVs, and whole house fans actually bring in humidity from the outdoors. Running bathroom fans or laundry fans is a common thought to remove moisture from the room too. Some people say that these fans remove the humidity while others say, like a whole house fan does, that they bring in air from the outside which carries humidity with it. Blower fan speed on your furnace. When your installer sets the blower speed on your fancy new system, they're doing their job right. Not every installer does this either. They take a temp split and they call it good. But every air handler installation manual has specific blower settings for each ductwork and static pressure situation. If you have humidity issues in the house and the tech is waffling on setting the speed one dip switch higher or lower to match the compressor speed and static pressure, always choose a little bit lower. While cooling the house faster, the high airflow doesn't allow the evaporator coil to collect enough condensation. And a wet evaporator coil means better humidity removal. Some other issues could be one duct laying on top of another. That can increase the potential for sweating, so separating those ducts will help. If you routinely keep it like a meat locker in your house, say 62 degrees, but the relative humidity inside your home is in the high 50s, you're going to start having registers that form moisture on them because it's very likely that your registers will get colder than 46 degrees, which is the dew point at that time. Remember, air conditioning systems usually blow air out of your registers 18 to 22 degrees colder than the air going in. Of course, keeping the house at 62 degrees can cause even more issues than that. Evaporator coil freezing is very likely at that point too, and then you start to have mechanical problems that get really expensive. Manual ZR says that supply air should not drop below 45 degrees for compressor reliability, but it also influences duct condensation. Besides setting your thermostat too low, other reasons for low supply air temperature are dirty filters, dirty coils, closed registers, kinks in the ductwork, restricting ducting with high static pressure, and improper airflow commissioning where the installer didn't set the blower to the right speed. Even the way the duct is attached to the boot, the C box, the can, can influence the airstream as it leaves the registers. A duct that heads straight into the boot will likely flow evenly through all the veins of the registers. But a duct that kinks in sideways or doesn't have an insulated hard 90 degree elbow to direct that airstream in properly can cause eddies, making that particular part of the boot colder than other edges of it. Negative pressures within the eddies can even pull warmer air into the can, intensifying the potential of forming that condensation. That's why this can happen in more humid rooms of the house like bathrooms and laundry rooms. When you have registers or the cans they're attached to sweating, you have to start eliminating air leaks. Tape and seal the sea boxes to the sheetrock or wood flooring if the registers are on the ground. The ducts that take off from the plenum at the furnace should be sealed around the start collar. There's duct sealant that's great for that. There's a couple trains of thought here, but I agree with this one. Adding more insulation around the outside of the can with blown in insulation may not fix the problem. You can still end up with ideal temperatures for the can to get colder than the surrounding air because there's no vapor barrier on top of the added insulation. However, if you were to use closed cell spray foam, you would have the insulation and the vapor barrier that you need. The reason behind this is, again, trying to keep the boot or register from getting colder than the dew point surrounding the metal. 
Another way to prevent condensation from forming on the registers and ducts is by insulating the inside of the can. This is probably the way I would do it. This way that you're keeping the metal of the can from getting too cold. I'm hoping that this helps with your questions about why ducts and supply registers in the home form condensation on them. It all comes down to the dew point of the, sur of the air surrounding the surfaces forming the moisture. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.